How many of y'all know that Jesus Christ is a black man and is not a white man? How do you say it, Ebruni? Jesus is not an Ebruni. Jesus Christ looks like you. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. On. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must certainly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. We're about to read about what Jesus Christ looked like because white people have lied to you. The European man has lied to you about who Jesus Christ is and what he taught. Jesus looked like you, brother, sister. Give me verse 12. Start at verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Jesus Christ says, I am Alpha and I am Omega. This was a man and guess what? He had a body. A lot of you all have been told that, oh, Jesus had no color. That's a lie, too. That's Jesus Christ wasn't just black. He was a very dark-skinned man. What? Give me the point. Give me 14. Verse 14 is head and his hair. It says Jesus Christ's hair and his head. Come on. The hairs on his head and the hairs that was on his face. Three. Well, white like wool. White like wool. Brother, let me ask you something. Look at that purple you got right there. And where's that, it was the image of the beast? Where's that lion image at? Right there, right there. Where at? Alright, I want you to tell me if Jesus Christ, when we read in the Bible, looks more like this man, or where's the other one? Or this man here. It says his hairs on his head were white and it was woolly textured. Who has woolly textured hair, bro? Whose hair looks like sheep's wool? The black one! Yours! Now wait a minute! This is this old dingy hair white man right here. That don't look like the description we read in the Bible. It didn't say he had straight hair. It said hair like wool. Read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. If you love God, if you love the Bible, all of you should come and see what this is talking about. That's right. It says his hair was white and woolly textured, not stringy and dingy like some white boy. What? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. This is fulfillment of prophecy because Christ drunk wine. Green. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet look like fine brass. Brother, what does brass look like? Do we have, a, do we have an example? Bring it out. When you look at brass, what does brass look like, bro? It's what? That's the brother. That's what Jesus looked like. Now watch this. Take that same brass, Reed. I see they burned in the furnace. As now you make it look like it burned in the furnace. Not only was Jesus Christ brown, he was darker than me. He was your complexion. But they don't teach you this in churches. They don't teach you in your so-called seminary schools. Why? Because they're trying to hide your identity, brothers and sisters. We are the children of Israel. We are God's chosen people. And we don't care what a European or any other booty got to say about it. We're going to teach you what God said. It's time for us to come together. It's time for us to do what God said to do and serve him in the spirit of truth. Not in lies and indoctrinations, but according to the Bible. I challenge anyone right now. I got a thousand dollars for the man or woman that can show me Jesus is a booty. One thousand dollars for the man or woman that can show me Jesus look like a white man in the Bible. It's not in there. It's not in there, brothers and sisters. So what are you going to do about it? You got to find your true heritage. You got to find out where you come from. The people in the Bible were black. Give me Job chapter 30, verse 30. I don't care what denomination you come from. I don't care if you're Pentecostal, if you're Catholic, Methodist, Episcopalian, whatever it may be. They have lied to you. They have lied to you about your heritage. Many of them don't know it. Read. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Read. My skin is black. What did Job say? My skin is black. How many of you all knew this was in the Bible? Job said, my skin is black. Now, wait a minute. Have him Somebody done lied. What's up, young fellas? How y'all doing? Come holler at me. I'm your brother, man. 
What's your name? What's your name, young man? Joshua. Biblical name. What's your name? Calvin? Nice to meet you, Joshua and Calvin. So let me ask y'all something. When you look at this flyer, turn it, turn it around real quick. Other side, other side. Other side. Who is this man right here? Who is that man right there? That's Jesus Christ. How'd you know that? Y'all might have been around here for a little while. Oh, you read it. I'm sorry. Our children got to learn. Jesus Christ look like you. Jesus Christ is not a white man, bro. Yeah, well, let me ask you something else, bro. According to history, what nation of people went into slavery with slave ships? Hold on. Africans. Africans went into slavery with slave ships. And when they got to the destination on those slave ships, what happened to them? They were beaten. They were they was raped, robbed, and murdered, right? Now, what if I told you that that's in the Bible about your history? You know you come from the same people that was taken in slavery? That's right. Did you know that God said that this would happen to the Israelites if we didn't keep his commandments? Watch this, brother. Give me Deuteronomy 28 68. Hey, listen, don't be afraid. Come talk to us. This Bible is for all of you. This glorious understanding is for you if you love God. You got that? Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. God said he would bring the Israelites. Hold on, Joshua. He said the Israelites would come into Egypt. Egypt means slavery. Did you know that? Give me Exodus 20 and 2. When the Israelites went in Egypt, they were serving pharaohs. They were having to build up those pyramids. They were having to use brick and mortar to do all the work in the land of Africa at that time, right? Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous for house of bondage. You hear that, Joshua? You hear this, brother? It says the Israelites were going to be sent into slavery again. But this time, give me back to Deuteronomy 28. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Joshua, pay attention, Joshua. You hear this? It says God will bring the Israelites into slavery again with ships. That happened to your people, Joshua. You understand your name, Joshua, Yahushua, or Yahawashai. That means Yahweh saves. That's a powerful name that you've been given, sir. Because guess what? God is going to save us. His son came and died for you so that you could have the kingdom of heaven. You're an Israelite, Joshua. You understand me? You're an Israelite, all right? Y'all take it easy. I know you're trying to get up out of here. Hey, where, where James go? He left? What's up? Y'all got some questions? What's your question, sir? What's your question? Hey, hey, you say what? What is he coming back for? Give me Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66. You says, what is he coming back for, right? I'm going to show you. Isaiah 66 and 15. This is the Bible. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a worm. Jesus Christ is coming back with fire. You understand? With fire and his chariots like a whirlwind, the Bible says. Read. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. It says Jesus Christ is coming back angry. He's going to render his anger with rebuke and flames of fire. Come on. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. You know what it means? The Lord's going to plead with all flesh. It means he's going to kill. It says by fire and his sword, the Lord's going to plead with all flesh. Read. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. It says, and the slain of the Lord is going to be many. Do you know why there's going to be many people killed by Jesus Christ? Because they're not keeping God's commandments and faith in his son. Did you know that we got to keep the commandments according to the Bible? Hold on, I can't hear you. Oh, you said, what are the commandments? All praise be to the most high. Give me that real quick. I'm going to give you an example. Give me Exodus chapter 20. I'm going to give you a quick example, sir. Exodus chapter 20, read verse 8. Tell me if you ever heard this before. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy.
Surely, so the brother asked a fantastic question. What are the commandments of God? Well, let me tell you something. You're not learning them in church. See, y'all have been told, just believe in Jesus and it's okay. No, there's much more. You got to believe in Jesus and keep the laws of God. We have been misled in these churches. They told you, you know what? Men can be with men. Women can be with women. Everything's okay. That's a lie. Homosexuality will be punished with death when the Lord returns. Right. Tell them what I said, bro. Okay, I said, yeah, I said, 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 and so you mean, so you know, I make and try to the action is that no colony at the Babylon, no secret to a new body, said your macache, and come on. What's up, brothers? Where y'all go? What's your name, bro? I'm come holler at me, bro. What's happening, man? What's up, bro? What's your name? Say it again? Yeah, that's as far as we get. Justice, justice. What's your name, brother? Huh? Hey, nice to meet you, brothers. Hey, listen. Do you know what your nationality is? Do you know that you're a king on this earth, brother? Oh, boys, so what tribe are you from? What does one tribe sign at? You are an Israelite, brother. You are from the tribe of Judah. You might be Benjamin or Levi, but you, my friend, are God's chosen people. You are an Israelite according to the Bible, and it's time for us to wake up. You're supposed to be over here with us, man, waking up the rest of the people. Translate. Say, you are Bible, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are either from the tribe of Judah, and I said Benjamin or Levi. What we came out here to do is to show and teach our people the beautiful, the wonderful good news that Jesus Christ came and died for you. Now let me ask you something. How is homosexuality okay in the Bible? It's not really good. It's that really good? It's an abomination. An abomination! But here, Babylon, America, teaches it's okay. Right. It's okay to be homosexual. That's a lie. Jesus Christ is going to come back and kill all the Bati boys. He's going to kill all the homos. Right. But you, my friend, because you know who you are, and if you repent, guess what? He's coming to save you. My friend, you got some questions too? What's your name? Right here, brother. What's your name, bro? Huh? Someone. How you doing, sir? What's your nationality? Where you come from? Ashanti, Ashad, you're from the tribe of Judah, sir. Me and you are the same people. Me and you, look at me, look at me. Me and you, same people, same bloodline. But we've been taught that we're different. We've been told that we ain't nothing. The descendants of slaves, which, which I am, went into slavery because we broke God's laws. Guess what? That's you too. You're the true children of Israel. Right. Not them lying white folks up in Israel now. Right, right. Not them lying or Edomites up there now. You are the true children of Israel. Right. You got that? Yes, sir. Yeah. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What people, my, my friend, right here. What people went into slavery with ships, brother? Who went into slavery with ships? Whose people? Your people, bro. You know your history? Do you know white people came over here a long time ago and took black people into slavery and took us over to the Americas? Same nation, same heritage. The transatlantic slave trade. This happened to your people. Wake up, bro. You gotta wake up and understand because if you don't, brother, you're gonna die when Jesus Christ comes back. You wanna live forever? You wanna be a king on this earth? Then, brother, look at me. Look at focus. Keep God's commandments and live, bro. All right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. 
the scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.